WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here for 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network Market Update. After my show, the Tiger Extra Editions Hour just finished. And uh, in fact, I had a question from someone in the Tiger YouTube about um, e uh, ET. This is uh, Energy ET. I'll just do this real quickly now because it pertains to what I wanted to talk about in this update. Yeah, it's in leg D, making a possible peak D. So I think that the energy going to Exxon, uh, CVX, uh, ORH, the oil service, so many of them have got to these leg Ds and peak Ds possible. I think the oil could pull back a little bit. Looking out, it's still they look great. But shorter term, I think there's just a little bit of an overboard situation. So let's do this right away. Dow has gone to a new recovery high, fabulous move above the high of September of 32,504. It's only in leg C at 32,653, um, up 621. The S&P being led by the Dow, the general is leading the the, uh, the troops, and the C uh, S and P is up 62 at 38.69. Very nice move. It should go to a leg D. You should try to get to the 3908 area in the next couple of days. You're looking at the QQQ after all the bad news with Amazon, and everything coming back up six, almost six at 278.60. You're looking at the IWM. I, I, IWM is lagging quite a bit. This is the small caps. It's up $1.72 to 180 Gold had the usual Friday tanking. I wouldn't call it tank. It's only down about 20 points at 16.46, but it is lagging because the dollar is showing some strength. Not fantastic strength, but some strength up 21 ticks at 110.70. I don't think it's that. I think it's the volatility index that's finally coming down and giving some relief. Um, the volatility is down in the 26s. It was the 34 um, a month, uh, October the 12th, uh, earlier this month. So we're looking at that. And then crude oil, yeah, crude oil is, is coming on okay, but it's down a little, it's all down a dollar at 88. In this chapter, we have inside track repellent zone. And the, I did the TLT. I'll just do that one more time. The TLT is at 97.34, holding well. I think if yields can come down, if the volatility index comes down, and if we're looking at the rotation saying Dow's leading with the cyclicals, can you believe it? Cyclicals moving up like this when we're supposedly about to have a recession or in a recession. This is good, a good sign. Um, have, a, have a great rest of the day. Stay tuned. You've got Steve Rhodes. You've got Think or Swim. You've got Dave White. You've got Tom O'Brien wrapping up today. And don't forget, Tommy O'Brien starts us off with a fabulous show. Market kick off at 9 a.m. See you on Monday. Have a great weekend and have a great day.